breaking through the enemy's lines. The Liberation Army finally set foot on Imperial soil. The invasion could now begin in full. However, there was no time to celebrate. Fort Dundrum, widely regarded as an impregnable defense against Thracian incursions, now stood before them. If they could not catch Fort Dundrum, the army would never reach Tarin time. Welcome back to more Thracia 776. So, last time, we made it through Noel Valley uh, in one of the more dumbest ways possible, but hey, it meant that we could train up Lippus, and Lippus is actually looking pretty good now, so yeah. But anyway, this time, yeah, Fort Dundrum. So this map has a guy in an objective, and that's the main headache of this map, but I guess before we get into that. So yeah, we could bring a, a large group of units again, although not too many units are actually going to be doing much because um, how this map plays out. But anyway, <clears throat> I guess we'll look at items now. So you leave once again, rocking the same things as always has. Like I said, maybe there's a chance for Finn to get a decent amount of EXP. I gave him the set of all the scrolls, but yeah, I feel like on this map I'm going to be swapping on scrolls a lot. Then we got Ronan. Now, I did say I want to save Ronan, but um, if I can get into promotion on this map, then I can focus a lot on Ocean in the next map. I think that's my plan of action now, so yeah. So we'll see what happens with Ronan. If you can get into promotion, great. If not, that's a bit annoying, but that's okay. <clears throat> then we got Fergus, who's overpowered. <laughs> and yeah, he's going to be nice because he can capture with the armor set. Dagda, he has a scroll because he could be good on this map because of that. Um, because of actually a cost. And then Asbel, once again, overpowered as well. So yeah, we always want to bring him. Lephus, he doesn't have much. But yeah, I'm thinking once he's about to level up, we'll give him... That null scroll and hope he gets build again. <laughs> Safety is here to heal. Visit could be nice in emergency. Lara, having two fears on this map really helps. And yeah, uh, Sylphine is just here because um, items. Shiva, he could fight a little bit on this map. That could be decently useful. Although, yeah, his bulk is not as good as in my practice. So, yeah, I think I'm going to be a bit careful with him. He also doesn't have a scroll on him yet either. So, yeah. Kalyon's also here for just items, same with Brian, and then Karen. Despite this being a very flyer hating map, um, she's still quite good at the beginning part of this map, so yeah, that's why she's going. Cool. And yeah, she didn't miss out on potentially some very good level ups last time, but that's okay. Anyway. And yeah, I don't think I need to do anything else in my inventory, so again, we'll definitely see Nana promote in the map after this, because she's going to come along, so yeah. Hey, this app, yeah, there isn't much to say about it right now. Yep, this, like, starting group, these are gonna open up, these are gonna open up, and then, yeah, you'll see how things play out. Anyway, one thing to note about this starting formation is that, yeah, soldiers aren't very good, but the archers have killer bows, and those are very nice to grab, so, yeah. As of course, Ronan can use them when he promotes, so, yeah, that's gonna be something we think about, so, yeah. And anyway, yeah, we're gonna see if we can get Finn into like a position to stop him with some work here. Problem with the start of this map is you basically gonna go one way through this um um forest, I guess you could say. So yeah, it's quite annoying to actually you know make progress this map. And yeah, you do have like a guy in objective. The main one is you need to complete the chapter in less than 30 turns, but there are two other objectives which will make more sense when we actually start this map. So yeah, let's just get going now. So yeah, let's go to Fort Dundrum. And yeah, mostly for a moment of because of the boss and something he says. Anyway, here we go. I've already told you, the enemy appeared out of nowhere to attack Fort Noel. If you don't send reinforcements, General Largo is as good as dead. It just that uh, took a while because the, <laughs> because they decided to try and capture him and keep him alive, but nah. Just say the word, I'll lead our troops to stomp out these invaders. Please, General Kempf. You claim this enemy appeared out of nowhere to besiege Fort Noel, but who exactly were they? Remind me, what was your assignment again? I'm just a lowly general of House Freege, and these little details escape me all the time. Ah, uh, wait, it's coming back to me. Reconnaissance, wasn't it? 
Uh, if your duty was reconnaissance, surely you'd come to me with more than they just appeared. Or are you such an incompetent soldier that you failed to gather even the slightest bit of information? I came here to warn you precisely because there's no time to do anything else. Listen to yourself, you're badgering me for needless details while our borders are under siege. Does it matter who the attackers are? And what if this attack is merely employed to lure us away from the fort? Do you consider that girly? Fort Dungeon earned this reputation of being impregnable only because House Freedus 12th Division is here to guard it. Without them, the fort is mere stone and slate. If I don't have complete information on our enemy, I can't chance to point the 12th Division. It would weaken our position. And while the General Largo, perhaps sending our troops out is a risk, but he faces certain danger at this very moment. Uh, what's more than two old men in, this, in the grand scheme of things? Besides, how much time could he really have left anyway? What? General Kemp, even now you... you... The glare, Yashimi, is almost treasonous on its own. I've had men executed for much less brazen displays of disrespect. Spoil so back up that glare with equally traitorous ones. Let me warn you, you're very close to insulting the chain of command. It's amusing what you squirm, I admit. Uh, are you really willing to defy your superior officer, knowing what the Empire does to traitors? <laughs> Is that it? You've got quite the mouth on you, but no spine to back up your words. You're a simple girl who got to Belhara's military carrying the prestige of her blood, not the skill of a sword arm. So naive, so oblivious to the way of the world, you're lucky to have a commanding officer as understanding as I. Don't worry, I know except that much of you. I know that your only real weapon is to go begging your brother for help. What did you just say to me? Hmm, are you hard of hearing? I said that all you're good for is going is to go crying to Reinhardt. You. Oh, how we must do it on you. Then again, Reinhardt's greatest skill is knowing how to lead women on. Hold your tongue. I'll not stand here and let you dishonor my brother. Ha, you dare to draw a sword on me, you feeble minded wench? Man, sees all want to throw her into the dungeon for this act of rebellion. Yes, General. Leo and Leo the Empire are under arrest. Drop your weapon. Yeah, General Kent, how contentable. Ah, that should put the impertinent little girl in her place. And if his own sisters escape from mutiny, Reinhardt will no doubt be stripped of his rank as well. Oh, the look on his face when he hears that this will be quite the spectacle. <laughs> General Kemp, explain yourself. Fred, my dear boy, you look your, you look different from your usual self. Is something in this? Don't play dumb. Why have you done why have you why have you done this to Lady Olwen? It's a violation of our military code to punish a subordinate over a personal grudge like this. You have a responsibility to overturn this. Please, sir, release her at once. Otherwise, I have no choice but to report this mad to Princess Ishna. Personal grudge? Nonsense. Do you know it's definitely not. <laughs> right where you're standing, Lady Owen drew her sword against you, her superior officer. She meant to kill me. What? That's not possible. Sh she would never... Fred, since you're so well acquainted with our military code, what's the punishment for turning your sword against a superior officer? Because I seem to recall that's a crime punishable by execution. So that's your goal, is it? Your cowardice knows no bounds. Be that as it may, as Owen's adjutant, that duty is not full to you. I command you to ride forth and engage these invaders in a place. But be warned, this isn't merely an order, it's a punishment. You're not permitted to retreat for any reason. See the battle through, regardless of the outcome, or have all been executed. Kemp, you're shameless. Hmm? Did he say something? Eh, yeah, must have been my imagination. <laughs> yep. Quite the asshole, huh? But anyway. Let's get started, shall we? So... Yeah, so now we have Fred here. Fred needs to survive this stuff, but you might be wondering why, because he's a red unit? Well, yeah, it should be pretty obvious why later. And also, Leaf needs to go here, because we need to activate something. But anyway, let's make a slow start on this map, because yeah, we have to go through this forest, like I said. And yeah, we can't really get in range of the enemy just yet, so yeah. Instead, what we're going to be doing is, yeah, we're going to be positioning all our important units um, close to outside. I'm not sure what's going to happen with this guy. He might just, you know, kill himself on 
Thurkus, but I do kind of want Thurkus closer to the action because, yeah, he can capture the, um, Killer, the killer boot dude, so yeah. I had realized too, yeah, I probably should have given back to the Brave Axe, but that's okay. Because Brave Axe can obviously be very useful capturing, but that's okay. Basically, you have Finn and Fergus, but to be honest, yeah, they'll do the job. Even Karen, maybe a little bit, but I guess we'll see. So yeah, I think another thing I should mention is that, yeah, some of these guys are dual keys. I think it's the ones at the back, yeah. So capturing them is nice because once again dorkies are nice, but also on this map they really help out, so yeah. So it does mean that yeah, you don't need to come with dorkies or repair. That's also kinda nice too, but anyway. I could put Lippus up front, nah. Let's not. Because yeah, he doesn't really need to fight, even though yeah, he definitely can, because his defense is really good with Paragon Sword, but yeah. All he really needs to do is yeah, just potentially steal things. Mainly those door keys, because yeah, with his better bulk, he should be able to have a not too hard time in doing that. And this is why I like Karen on this personally, because yeah, she can, you know, she doesn't care about the one tile movement that we're forced into, so yeah. Anyway, now we're gonna get more plot. What's this? The enemy flies the bow of House of the Odster? Are they being led by a boy? Why? You can't be more than 14 or 15. I got swords that are, I got swords that are older than him. Ah, uh, I see. That must be the way with Prince Sleep. First Owen and now Prince Sleep marches right up to my doorstep. The gods are most generous today. This is my chance. All hands near me. I have a plan I have a plan for just such an occasion as this. But for it to work, you must lure the enemy inside, and don't be too obvious about it. Prepare to launch Operation Portcullis. Which apparently it's an operation used in Roman times too. But anyway, these armors, they move randomly, basically. I assume that's the drawing us in kind of thing, but anyway. But yeah, what we want to do to thwart his plan is we want to, um... What we want to do to thwart this plan is, yeah, we want to kill the armors, at least the ones in the way, and then activate the trap. The trap only activates when Leap enters the area, so yeah. I mean, this is a little bit interesting, but yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this, because once again, I want to catch these killer boat dudes, so I think what we're just going to do is, yeah, Ben is going to make a start on these soldiers. Like so. And there you go, well done. He has a scroll, so he won't be afraid of getting crit, so yeah. And now, yeah, Karen will need to back up a bit, but that's okay. But yeah, one good thing about Karen is, yeah, she can basically unload these guys, and then, yeah, Burgess doesn't need to do anything. I don't really want to use, um, Ronan just yet, because, yeah, again, Ronan, he could kill these guys, and again, I kind of want their stuff, so, yeah. Because he wants to use those killer bows, obviously, so, yeah, I think we're just gonna wait again. <laughs> I'm gonna hope that more than go off the pin. I'm gonna hope that Finn doesn't have too much defense. I don't think he does, but I guess we'll see. He is in a forest, so yeah, but looks like we want to go for him. I don't actually have his least support in range, but he's doing quite nicely, so yeah. If it could, if it is obvious, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, every vault also did this, but yeah, they kind of want to show that, yeah, not everyone in the Empire is a good person, and not everyone outside, or not everyone in the Empire is either good or bad. Not everyone, I mean. So yeah, so you of course got Kemp, who, yeah, he's an asshole. But then you got Olwen, who's trying to be a bit more reasonable, so yeah. Anyway, those two can't hurt us, so yeah. Those kind of other dudes are definitely a bit of a pain, but both my units over here have scrolls, so they'll be fine. Yeah, 10 damage though is definitely a decent amount, so yeah. And yeah, the other one wants to go for Finn too, so yeah. Well, this one actually does a lot less, so yeah. Alright, let's get started, shall we? So, with the capturing. So, I think I'll have um, Finn go first. If I'm gonna do that, then yeah, I definitely want Leaf closer. So then, yeah, we can go for a nice capture here. And yeah, he does quad with the Brave Lance. Awesome. So, yeah, let's go for it. Again, like I said, I've been neglecting Finn, but yeah, at this point, yeah, he probably should be promoted, considering that, yeah. He joins quite close to level 10, and yeah, if you've been using him, then yeah, he'll probably be level 10. Maybe there's a weapon rank? I think he's... Um, yeah, that's A rank, so he's already capped good. 
So now, yeah, we need to go catch the other one. So let's do that with the Bray Sword. Because that should be pretty easy. Now that can also be very good on this map because of Charm, but yeah. Because Charm helps out for what's about to happen, so yeah. Any idea? Give Fergus a scroll. So he gets sharp good. So now, yeah. Lippus can go take that. These guys here, yeah, he can't actually steal the short lance because, yeah, despite the name, it is actually. He needs 9 con, he has 8. So, yeah. So now with that done, yeah, what I want to do here is. I don't know how I can do this. Might require a little bit of weird playing here, but yeah. I think. Hmm. Because I want to maybe snag that boulder scroll off then. So that, yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah, maybe. Let's not actually worry about that. Instead, yeah, we'll get a kill with Ronan with the scrolls he currently has, and it'll be fine. Because I'm pretty sure he's either going to level up or he's going to get close to leveling up after this potential kill. It's actually a pretty guaranteed kill. It's actually because he crits. There you go. His crit is actually really good now. So yeah, he did indeed level up. So yeah, that's what he's getting. Uh, more magic, alright. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it though. Again, more strip would be nice. I think he gets like a decent amount of promotion anyway, so it'll be fine. And then, yeah, we have this dude left. What do Shiva can't reach? Oh, that's okay. So, <laughs> can't even touch Lippus either, so yeah, I'm probably gonna put Lippus here. And now, yeah, we're going to start taking these guys, so yeah. So, I wanna do this as, yeah, Karen goes back here, and then you can take and start trading. And yeah, this is also good for Sylvina too. She likes using Kilopos too. Is saying that, yeah, I mean, she does have the rest piece, you know, I'm pretty sure she does have at least support on her side, so yeah. And yeah, Burgos, he's in a bit of a spot bother, but that's okay. This guy, I mean, yeah, it's a it waste of brace on a little bit. I mean, yeah, if I'm really worried about that, then yeah, I can do this. Um, I can trade off the brace sword. And then you'll go for Asbel, because you can actually hurt Asbel, so yeah. Boy, no, he, he goes for Rona, which I'm also pretty fine with too, so yeah. Then, yeah, he's close to level up, and yeah, like I said, I'm probably going to be using him against some of these armors, so yeah. It might be a little bit painful, but with the least support, I think we'll do pretty decent, so yeah. Anyway, once again, we need to slowly get our units into place. I'm okay with using safety on this app, because yeah, even if she gets fatigued, um, she'll set up the next app, but then the map after is the one I really want her, because she's actually going to be using warp on that map. Hey, this one does go for Ronan. Does fight damage. That guy even hits. There you go. <laughs> and yeah, then with the long lance, I think it'll do fine against the armors, but yeah, it won't be super easy. That brave lance might be a, nece a necessity here, but I guess we'll see. But anyway, so yeah, Sophia can actually take this one too, so yeah, I want to get Leap on the move. Because yeah, he is going to. Um, let's see. Let's see the range of these guys, see if any of them are in Ronan range, and the answer is no, so yeah. We'll see a Fred here. You can steal this if you have 10 con, but unfortunately no. Not for us, so yeah. Unless I promote and he gets a point of con, <laughs> then we can, but again, I don't think it's likely, but anyway. I wonder if I use the steel bow here, actually. Uh, not a kill still, so I'm gonna bank on either a crit or more depth chance. So let's try. Yeah, 26 crit's actually a pretty decent amount. His skill is very good, but yeah. And you do get the crit, there you go. Very nice. It's bringing a lot more than I thought you would, so yeah. So there you are. And yeah, you can also, you know, seal the deal against um, these um, dudes, I guess, by anyway. So the safety's not in range, we're gonna heal it as well. And give him a level up. He really only needs magic. I didn't give him a scroll, which I probably should have, but that's okay. Again, what he mainly wants are the defense boosting scroll and the magic boosting scroll, both of which are actually coming kind of soon. You got more HP, so I'll take that. Because he got 50 HP and 8 defense, that's very bulky to be honest, so yeah. 
now you think and start doing this thing. So yeah. And yeah, like I said, Safi. Unless Safi. Selfina, she's going to take this dude's stuff and release. So there you go. Now we got a lot of killer votes for Ronan up the moment. So yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, we're just going to how oh, well do we actually do? Not too bad actually. Damage is quite a lot though, so I'm gonna wait, play this a little bit more safely. This guy doesn't have anything for me to steal. I mean, the long answer is good, but yeah. I'd rather capture the ones that have dorkies, so yeah, or steal, obviously, because you're Lippus. You can definitely do that. He's very resilient. And he, even if he gets to a team, it's not the end of the world. Next map, already. It would. I mean, yeah, it's not great, but next map, he can manage with Lara, basically, so yeah. Even if he does get fatigued, which I feel like is going to happen, don't I? Now, I was kind of talking about, you know, Breach, but then again, yeah. The thing about Breach is that, yeah, there was also um, FE4. He had, like, you know, Ishtor. Ishtor was technically not a bad person, even though his bolting can be very annoying. Of course, Ishtar is one thing. I actually used the Brave one, so I guess it's fine. It's definitely kill, there you go. It's a decent amount of use of the Brave one, but it's okay. Yeah, level up. You get more speed, which is nice. Instead, yeah, I want to see if I can maybe save some uses and use the long nuts. Hey, here's a javelin. Of course, if you want to capture it, then we can obviously think about um, Brave, because he can crit with it, and then yeah, that's very good. So what you have, hey, you're a dude that has a dorky, so yeah, I'm gonna try capturing you with the armor, sir. And yeah, that looks a lot easier than the boss of the last up, so yeah. Again, I really regret trying to actually capture it, but it's okay. I have done it before, that's why I wanted to at least try it, but yeah, there really isn't a point, to be honest. You know, technically, yeah, you could get some nice stuff out of them, but that's okay. Anyway, yeah. Now I need my other caps, because, um, oh, you know, we could make use of current health. Yeah, so I can take and start training some stuff. I do want that door key, I want that formery. And yeah, I'll actually try it to Karen. Karen can still be useful on this map, because um, she can dismount and the bulk is an avoid is pretty good, so yeah. And I got Finn here again, I used the Brave Lance, which again might not be the smartest thing in the world, but that's okay. We'll just use the Long Lance and stuff. How well does it do again? Yeah, even without the support, he's doing quite good, so yeah. So I guess yeah, we'll do something like this, and then yeah, I'll put Finn here with the long lance. You can use the trap too, if that's needed, by anyway. So again, yeah, make your way... Again, you have a fairly limit time limit, but again, 30 turns is quite a lot of time. So you're gonna have to take your time a little bit on this side, so anyway. Yeah, I realized that yeah, I did give Dak a scroll, so you could have some fun on this map. Again, I really should have traded um, Ocean stuff over to him, but that's okay. We'll manage. So let's see what's gonna happen now. Once again, yeah, let's thin out these armors before we think about stage 2 of our plan here. And there's the crit, there you go. And yeah, lobby XP, so yeah. Again, like I said, this is where we get Finn trained up. Once again, yeah, he does take a pretty decent amount. This guy, yeah, we could go for the capture on him as well. And yeah, that's another great level up. And yeah, we can go for the catch if, yeah, he has a dorky, which actually does a bug and a long lance. Is there that, yeah, he is using a long lance a lot, yeah, maybe he wants that. The question is, is that, yeah, actually, yeah, we can do this. Once again, it's actually going to be Asbel who goes to the heal here. And yeah, I think we'll see how much damage he does, and then we'll see if capturing is a good idea. Anyway, there you go. Again, this could be a bit of a greedy play because, yeah, again, he doesn't have the door key on him. So yeah, then, yeah, that means I can't, you know... Could be a bit of a risk. He needs one damage off of the long lance, so yeah, if I want this, then yeah, I'm gonna have to use the brave lance. But I'm okay with doing that. So there we go. 
It's only one use of the Brave Lance to say there you go. That's another Long Lance for us. And the next turn, yeah, he can go back into position. Against these guys, we'll see how they move as well. This Venom Lance dude again, we also want to think about capturing him, so we'll see how he moves as well. Anyway, yeah, here are my other cards, so... They're gonna take this Long Lance off. And there we go. Once again, that's extra weapon for Finn if he needs it, so yeah. We'll definitely make a profit on weapons after this map, that's a dang short. So, anyway, what you have again? Yeah, you're the Venomance dude. So, I don't want to really want to get poisoned by that, so I'm going to put Fergus a little bit closer just in case you want to use him for a capture next turn. So, yeah. So, we'll see. Yeah, this is going better than the practice. We'll talk more about the practice in a bit because it does relate to the trap because that's where most of the restarts happen. So, yeah. So now, yeah, we have, yeah, Mr. Benelant's dude here. So, yeah, we'll go for the capture on him. It's a one-shot, so that's good. And if I have Karen a bit closer, then, yeah, that's also pretty decent. Excuse, excuse me about that, mate, anyway. I think, yeah, we can make this work. Put Karen here, so we're a little bit closer. And then, yeah, we'll try going for this. Um, armor set here. Once again, armor set on armors makes them very easy to catch, so yeah. There you go. That's why they're quite valuable, so yeah. And now, yeah, you can just go back. And once again, yeah, we need to use one of our other calves here. So, Venus basically got full inventory now, so yeah, it'll be Kalyon who takes this stuff. There you are. Release. I'm actually going to give a door key to Dactor as well. So yeah, I'm going to take that. There you are. So yeah. Then might also take a door key in a bit as well. Depends on how things go. So yeah. And you don't want to be in Fred's range, obviously. So yeah. There are definitely some decent dudes to go after here. Potentially, there are probably still a few door keys here and there. Like that guy. Yeah, that guy's. Probably a decent one to go out there, so it's that guy. Yeah, let's use a bit more Finn. And also, be careful of Leaf. You don't want him to go in here too early, because that could be bad. So, yeah. Yeah, Finn. Once again, let's go Long Lance. Again, that could be a bit of a risk, because he, again, his defense is good, but not the best. So, yeah. Of course, we could also put Rona <laughs> in the back, because um, the Chaplain dudes can put the pressure off. Um, in a little bit. I think I'm actually going to do that. In fact, yeah, I could also try going for some lucky crits here. He's not close to level up, so yeah. I mean, the only problem is, is if he, if death by awesomeness happens at the trap of dudes. Which, yeah, definitely, yeah, that could be a possibility, but anyway. We got a nice crit and a nice kill. There you go. That's a little bit of pressure off of it, so yeah. Also, a lot of experience. So once again, yeah, it could be very possible to see Sniper Rona in this. But again, maybe that was a bit of a risky play, but I guess we'll see. Because yeah, hopefully the next turn, if I act, don't actually move Leaf, we'll might clear out these guys. So let's see what they do. So Long Lance. And yeah, he actually does just strip because that's fine. At the moment. <laughs> and yeah, now it's time to jump on him. Again, I, I think they do this because Finn can counter, but Ronan can, so yeah. So anyway, here's another traveler. And then, what's the last one gonna do? Go after him, so that's fine. Yeah, let's go after Ronan. <laughs> and yeah, Ronan actually does very well against him. The adapts, so there you go. And that's another kill, so there you go. I think he did have a door key on him, but that's fine. Another Ronan, level up. Skill and speed, alright. Now, only two dudes left. So we got a Chaplin dude, and yeah, we got a door key dude. So, what I'm gonna do here is, is that, yeah, Lippers is gonna steal that door key. And level up. 
so I should give him the scroll box. Okay. Again, yeah, I make a lot of mistakes there, but fine. Oh yeah, he got he gets 40 XP. For some reason, I thought he only got 20. <laughs> oh well. So if I've had chaplains, that's good to know. So yeah. Just wondering how we should proceed from here. Thinking, yeah, one thing Ronan might actually do is, yeah, he might take the door key as well. So yeah, how many door keys do I actually have on me? Like, yeah, Karen has one, but I think I'm actually going to give that to Finn instead of the Boulder Scroll, I think. I mean, that's what I'm going to do, so yeah. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, Ronan takes the door key, just in case, and then yeah, we go for another Steel Bow, and hope for the first. Also, I don't want to move Leaf just yet, because again, we don't want to activate the thing too early, so yeah. And we do take the damage, so definitely heal that up. And there's the kill. And yeah, he's <laughs> he's very close to that promotion now. I want to give him the Boulder Scroll, to be honest, so I guess we're going to do that. Instead of, um, you know what, the Dorky. I'm gonna have Finn take that Dorky. And then, hmm, Karen with the Dorky? It could work, but Fergus could also work with that, so yeah. So he's gonna take that. There's still one dude left. And I didn't think about how I'm gonna kill him, so I guess it's gonna have to be Aspen, right? So yeah. As well at one range because he, uh, um, well, he has a javelin and also I don't want to be in Fred's range because Fred is kind of important. So yeah. Anyway, there we go. Good. So now what we need to do is, with basically all these guys eliminated, now it's on to phase two of the plan. I'm thinking, yeah. Uh, what do I want to do with Ronan? I guess we'll find out. Because again, do I have more door keys I wonder that I could, you know, make use of? I'm not so sure actually. You know, actually no, no, no. I can make this work. So, next time we'll heal Ronan. I'm gonna get Karen here, but she's gonna dismount um, her peg. She wants to go like, I think I'm gonna put her over here. And like I said, I'm gonna have a dismount and use the killing edge. Once again, let's not be in Fred's range. And again, Leaf, we don't want to move him just yet. And yeah, we want Doctor here. And then I want um, Lara here. And yeah, everyone else here wants to be a little bit far back. Except for these cats, because yeah, they're going to be quite useful in a bit, so yeah. Alrighty, so now, yeah, let's uh, yeah, end this turn. Alrighty, so yeah. Again, we're playing a bit with fire with Ronan here, but he's so close to that promotion, so I really want to, you know, take advantage of that, so yeah. Okay, what I want to do is, yeah, I want to heal him with the heal staff. Like so. Now he is at full health. Okay, I'm about to get double level up, so that's funny. Then you have Fergus, he wants to go over here. He also wants a dismount, actually. Because, yeah, here, um, you can't go inside this with Kaz, as the cutscene actually showed earlier, so that's cool. And he lifts, he wants to go over here. Ben wants to go over here. And then we're actually good to go for the next turn, so yeah. Is that good, Ben Dorpy? Yep. So, yeah, now, um. Now we'll see what happens. Basically, so yeah. Next turn. Unfortunately, I can't get um, Sheep out there. Again, I'm not being too combat Sheep's bulk like I did last time, so anyway. Now, with that all done, we're going to activate the trap. I mean, this is where the fun begins, I guess you could say, and we get to talk about how unfortunate I was earlier, so yeah. We'll have Leaf run up to you. It doesn't matter, as long as you're in this area, you'll trigger the thing. So yeah. So yeah, now we'll just put Leaf out. Ah, those dollars actually fell for it. Oh yeah, this. So yeah, um, in the Shire patch, the first translation patch, uh, he made a Bandit Keep reference, 
I think it's from Yuku Fritch. Because he says he fell for my trap in America. Because why not? Alright, man. Fire at will. So here's the trap. Two ballista, and he locks the doors. Do the holy blood knights of House Freed fight using such underhanded tactics? When I forced this man in Noel Valley, I respected the honor with which your army conducted itself. It seems I was mistaken. On behalf of my home, my honor compels me to agree with you. The Crusader Front would not have fought using such treachery. This is all because of that fool of a man, General Kent. This disgrace is his doing. As a knight, I'm loath to give my life in service to such a foul plan. You seem to be an honorable lad. I have self-control enough to not turn my sword against you, if you can promise the same. If you don't mind a fight said, then we have no reason to meddle with you. In fact, we may even be able to help each other. I wait for the both of us a little energy to spare now. I can agree to those terms. I have many things left undone. It's settled then. We can both agree that our time is better spent devising an escape. Very well. My forces have stormed the castle in Tyrion's short order. When that happens, we should make you escape to the south. We can take care of the gay ourselves. Are we in agreement? We are. It appears I owe you quite the debt. I'm Fred, proud knight of House Stade. I would know your name as well, friend. It's Leaf, Leaf of House Leonster. House Leonster? I see. Well, Lord Leaf, I believe we'll meet again one of these days. Alright, so here's what we need to do. So, again, left is actually a pretty decent bulk, to be honest. 13. It is more than Fred, so I'm actually feeling confident to do this. Um. This could actually work out. So basically, here's what you want to do. You see these areas I'm putting my units in? It means that they only take, get targeted by one ballista. If they get targeted by both, it can be pretty bad. But it feels on turn one, or at least it feels like on turn one. What they like to do is go for Fred. Because, yeah, we need Fred alive and escape this map. That's the one of the three objectives. So, yeah, let's go over these again. So, what we need to do is we need to beat the map in 30 turns. We need to make sure Fred escapes. And we need to have Leaf trigger the trap. You might be wondering how he, you cannot trigger the trap. It's a little warp stuff. If you decide to go up the camp before he triggers the trap, well, you're not triggering the trap, are you? So, yeah. Seeing on warp stuff, they can be useful. You can't actually go up to these guys until you go inside. But the warp stuff, you can definitely circumvent that, and it makes things a bit easier. But I want to save my warp stars. So, yeah, here's what we're going to do. Lara's gonna open this. And then, yeah, what you wanna do is, yeah, risk her out, because she can't take even one blister. And, yeah, then you can risk drop, obviously, like so. And then, what you can do is, um, unlock this door with Dacta. There you go. Dacta will get shot twice, but I think it'll be fine, because, again, they'll go after Fred, I'm pretty sure. And then your Finn, he can't really, you know, mount up, so what I'm going to have him do is I'm going to have him door and then go ground. Again, I'm a bit worried about what will happen to Dacta, but I guess we'll see. And yeah, now time for phase two. So once again, I'm actually being very confident with this bolt. The only thing I didn't do is give him a scroll, which, again, his luck is terrible and these guys do have some crits, so yeah. So yeah, what we're going to do is, yeah, let's open the door. And yeah, now, this is why I kind of wanted another door key, but it's okay. Because if I can do... There isn't much space to move, but yeah. Because I'm thinking, do I give a scroll to Lippus or not? Because again, he only has one luck. AK no dodge! AK, yeah, these guys have a lot of crit. And yeah, Sigal Witch here. Um, these guys like to crit you. <laughs> a lot. So yeah. At least that's what it feels like. It says they only, they only have three crit. Which, uh, yeah, but again, it feels like they crit all the time, so yeah, technically, yeah, Livers' crit chance should also be free, but yeah, I guess we'll find out. Yes, again, do I just keep running range of one? He takes one blister, so, and you know what, it could also help us if we do that, because less of them are going to go off the front, so you know what, yeah, I'm going to keep running range of one. He has a scroll, so he can't get crit either, so that's good. He has spell hit too, because he can obviously heal if things go wrong. And then your next turn, what's going to happen is your Lithus is going to open that. 
Do we want Fergus on the move, I wonder? Oh yeah, I did give Fergus a door Hmm. Oh, I should have thought to do that, because then I could have actually, you know, had to run and start on these enemies, but that's okay. Oh well, at least, um, it's not the end of the world, because obviously, you uh, he can open this right now. Let's do that. And then, yeah, Karen. Yeah, she could also go in here, I guess. She's not too bad at self. 10 defense and a lot of points, so you know what? I'm gonna keep her here. Alright, I'm wondering how this is gonna go, I guess. Again, on my practice, they have to go for Fred. But anyway, let's talk about the BS, I guess. My luck on this set was god awful. And what they're doing. They are actually going for with this. And he dodged. So that's good. Okay, I didn't give him a scroll. Really should have done that. And the other one actually goes for one of my units. Once again, Lippus. He is again, he could get crit. But he dodges again, well done. So another one after Fred, that's good. Oh yeah, another thing I should mention. I opened those doors, and the main reason why you want to do that is because it makes things way easier. For Fred, because again, there's a couple of weird things going on Fred. Even though he's a green eight, you actually can't heal him. So... That's a thing, but yeah. Also, guess what? They have a crit. They had a crit chance on him when I was playing, and guess what happened? He got crit too. So uh, yeah, that was fun. Aka also got crit, but this time yeah, I'm actually you know wising up to that and gave him the scrolls. So yeah. Anyway, now let's do something. Um, yep, this guy. But to be honest, yeah, 15 attack. <laughs> I'm I'm starting to shake actually. Because I'm worried that, yeah, things are going to go wrong here. Yeah, one thing I can do is, yeah, we could use Lithus a little bit. But, yeah, I'm probably going to trade on the scroll so he doesn't get crit. So let's do that. And, of course, we'll keep the Paragon Sword. So let's do that. Now, yeah, Ronan, he can get outside the Ballista range. Same with Leaf. And, yeah, those two, yeah, they're only in range of one, so that's good. And yeah, Dagda might be the preferred target for this one. Because yeah, he can start training that blister. That's one good thing. But again, they might go off the Fred because they want to try kill Fred. But luckily though, I don't think he'll die now. So yeah. Again, I was really frustrated on this one because again, seeing Fred crit like that, that just yeah made my heart sink. So yeah. That was a thing, but anyway. Now let's see what happens. Alright, the shroom Fred, I'm fine with that. As long as he's like a crit, obviously. <laughs> and this also goes for Fred. And he did take damage, but now he's out of here. And here's the bishop. Uh, actually, yeah, Lithus. He does have some magic, so yeah. And uh, no one else moved. Alright. So I guess I'm fine with that. You could steal this guy's tome, because if you do that, then it means that yeah, you can get his, um, you can get his physics stuff. I'll think about it, because again, um, let's see, who else moves in this room? It's the armors, okay, so yeah. For some reason, yeah, this guy moves around. I'm not so sure why, but yeah. Once again, my body is shaking so much. <laughs> because yeah, it re he really doesn't, I really don't want to mess this up, up against this spot. So anyway, one funny thing though is, yeah, we can go for the heal. Once again, though, is it wise to do this? You do seven? Which means... Did he all do seven, I wonder? Well, ten. Twelve. Okay, so yeah, he's living this. He also got Leaf. So yeah, and we kill exactly with the Iron Bow, so that's awesome. We should be getting a level him. And we get a depth too. Awesome. There you go. Well done, Bruno. That is his promotion right there. We'll do it as well next time. Anyway, still no strength, but hey, we got more magic. So, yeah. So, yeah, did I? Yeah, I did give him the scroll. Say, so, yeah, I'm just getting a bit unlucky. That's okay. And they got. So, again, they just got javelins. I can't steal this with Lithus, so yeah. So, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to have um, Lurgus do something. Because, like, who else is going to do something here, basically? And a nice crit. Yeah, I do love that crit animation. So there you go. I'm actually getting a decent amount from these guys, to be honest, so yeah. 
Oh uh, yeah, we could do this. Levis will need to be the one to open the door, but luckily uh, again with the power console, he's actually quite bulky, so yeah. It's actually considering that high HP he has now, so yeah. Okay, we can't bring him up throwing on that again, he's kind of a low priority, but it could very well happen very soon actually, but anyway, I get very lucky with that level up. So yeah, and now yeah, Karen herself can be outside the blister range, so yeah, to be honest, yeah, no one else is gonna be in range, so yeah, I don't need to worry about... I mean, this guy can be a bit of a bother because of his position there, but yeah, let's not, you know, push the issue. We don't need Kali's Blister to actually progress in this map, so yeah. And yeah, Lithus, yeah, he can, yeah, actually go and open this. And he can go open that, he has more than enough lockpick uses, so yeah. Yeah, let's we'll just make sure no one else is in range. Alright, so yeah, we are good to go here. For the rest of this map. This one, yeah, he does go off the row now. Now he goes off the leaf, never mind. Well, that's fine. So, yeah, he's gonna be fine now, and now we're gonna go over this. Or a torch staff. Of course, this basically, uh, again, as does all you expect, uses torch. So, or it's a start that uses a torch, like a fact, is what I should be saying. But anyway, what do we do now? So. Do I use Karen a little bit? Because, yeah, of course, Lippis can trade that scroll to her because it's a scroll she really likes, so yeah. Because, yeah, it's Ronan promotion time, so let's do it. Because, yeah, he's gonna get a big boost out of this. There you are. So yeah, two strength is very good. He now has kept skills as well. Two defense. Yeah, one con is also quite nice. There he is. Yeah, you don't really see snipers that much in this game, but yeah, his skin speed already being that good, that's obviously amazing. So yeah, and of course the main thing though, he has B rank and bows. So now you can start using the killer bows that we've been getting, and then yeah, he's gonna kill a lot of things. Again, he's only going player phase, but we don't really mind too much. So yeah. Karen is nowhere near level up, so yeah, we'll use this killing edge. 54 crit is a lot. But yeah, that's actually not 54 crit because, yeah, again, um, you get 25 on the first attack. So there you go. And yeah, we'll see if yeah, Lippus can actually steal from this guy. We'll find out. I think I know what my plan is going to be moving forward, so yeah. Make sure you're not in range of those monsters, so yeah. See, now, the question is, can Lifus actually open the door from where he is? Anyway, there he goes, good. No need to worry about Fred anymore. Alright, so now, yeah, we can actually open the door. So then, yeah, what I can actually do with Karen here is I can put her here. Then, yeah, she can start doing her thing. Well, you know, I can't do put her here. Uh, no, I'm actually going to put it here. Give it the Killing Edge. And then Fergus, um, yeah, we won't be in range of this to be put it. Yeah, so there we go. I have Leaf positioned there. Oh yeah, I meant to take the scroll, I guess. Oh well. Um, we'll give the... I'll give the... at least this and this to her. For the time being. So yeah, that will work. <laughs> Because again, I might think about, you know, stealing this guy so I can get his physics stuff. Or, you know, even just straight up capturing him, but I guess we'll see. Let's find out what happens. So yeah, these guys start moving on you. So, yeah, Venom Axes, you can steal those if you want as well, they're capturing. There we get the nice crit there. Yeah, she is actually getting a decent amount, so good thing I did give her the scrolls. So, yeah, it definitely feels good to, you know, actually, you know, get through this sack, because of all the shitty luck I had before, but yeah. And yeah, all the move, okay. Again, we're not going to get any axes out of these guys, but that's fine. There'll be more opportunities, most likely, so yeah. 
anyway, close to level up too. Uh, yeah, you're going after. Yeah, you're going after Fergus, that's fine. No problem. So now what we're going to do is, we're going to... Yeah, how much time do we have left? We have, yeah, half time left, basically. So yeah, what we can do is, yeah, these guys don't move. Kev also doesn't move, I'll look at him in a little bit more detail because he's kind of interesting. Yeah, like I said, we can steal this guy and his toe and get a start to... And yeah, now he's a free physics stuff, so there you go. Who even has room for that? I guess Fergus does, so yeah, he's going to be the one to do that. And yeah, these guys are also free Thunder terms as well, so yeah. But yeah, before we think about doing that, we want to get rid of Kemp. So, Kemp, as you see, his stats are actually pretty good. He's actually pretty hard to kill at this point, but luckily for you, if you reach him, he'll just retreat, so yeah. But you can actually think about stealing some of his stuff, like the Venom Edge. You can get that, obviously, because of Iron Sword. You can even steal the Vulnerates if you want. The Boron and the Mass are a bit hard to steal at this point, but yeah, if you can steal them, it is pretty cool. So anyway, yeah, what I want to do is, yeah, it's going to actually be Ronan who shoots Kemp in the face, so yeah. So I'm going to be doing that. Get the Iron Bow. And he actually does... I mean, he doesn't do great, but... <laughs> again, all you can do is just reach him and do this. <laughs> so much for the impregnable Fort Duntrum. And he's actually a dismounted mage knight, that's his class. And yeah, we actually got a crow. So there you go. Also, now we got Kemp 2 is that, yeah, if you look at his skills, yeah, you can't capture him, can't kill him either, so yeah. That's why, yeah, we just had to, you know, do that, so yeah. And now, yeah, Fergus can freely capture this, and then you can freely cut or steal this. So there you go. Once again, again, <laughs> my body is still shaking a lot, but yeah, we still want to be a bit careful of the crowd, these blister. But anyway, yeah, now we can capture that, and yeah, we can get the physics stuff, so yeah. That definitely makes up for the dude using my physics stuff a lot last time, so yeah. Man, anyway, how's Ron doing on fatigue, I wonder? He's actually not that much fatigued, so you know what, he might actually come to the next map, to be honest, but... Um, what I want to do on the next step is he's boosting a lot. I think that's going to be my plan. And there he goes. Ugh, well that's joke. I must flee this place at least for the time being. And there you go. Actually, how's Lepus on fatigue? Uh, we're, we're getting very close, softly. One more steal, and that's it. So, yeah. I'll bring in the next map. <laughs> so with that done, yeah, these guys shouldn't do anything, and in fact, yeah, what I can take a bunch of is, yeah, I can give the scroll back to you, and then, yeah, I can start slaying, I guess. Maybe not with the killing edge, so instead I'll trade that iron sword that Leaf has. Like so. Because, yeah, she'll probably level up after doing this, so yeah. I guess it's not bad and Kent to be doing something like this, so yeah. <laughs> there you go, down they go. Yeah, that is level up. And yeah, like I said, I'm hoping for the strength, I'm hoping for the build. Ah, uh, HP's fine, I guess. That is okay by me. She's also almost 50, but yeah, it doesn't really matter that much because, yeah. Um, we're not using it on the next up anyway, so yeah. Release, there you go. And I guess one more Ronan kill for the road. And yeah, the other thing about Ronan is, yeah, now I can think about selling some of the iron bows I have. Yes, again, Ronan isn't gonna fight too much, because again, he's only player phase, so... Again, yeah, we can definitely think about, yeah, giving him, um, the more exotic bows, basically, so yeah. Anyway, that will be the second to last turn. Next turn, we're ending this, so yeah. There you are. Now, yeah, I'm gonna take back my Killing Edge. Instead of the Iron Sword, there you go. And now we're gonna leave. And you leave us here. Yeah. You can at least help us out on the next map. That's what we're gonna do. Unfortunately, no more on the next map, because, yeah, I could use that to promote my guess, but anyway. 
They went on with the sap. Nothing else to do here. And yeah, we managed to conquer it in only 70 turns slot. So yeah. So that is that. We the big camp and is port color strap. So let's leave. Simply superb work, my friends. The port dungeon skates captured this quickly or beat all but impossible for the end of your escape. We can't afford to rest our laurels, however. This being an imperial fort, I accept there are children in prison here as well. Let's take the most of our swift victory and conduct the sleep of the interior. If indeed there are children locked up here, we must help them at once. That's it with me, we did get 11x. So yeah, that's what we're going to be worrying about next time. So yeah, next time, we're going to be, of course, rescuing some children. And also recruiting a pretty popular unit from this game. A unit that has almost boundless levels of potential. So yeah, that can be pretty fun to talk about. So yeah, look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for that.